Okay, this is part two of the setup. I just wanted to show you the app. And so it's this app on the bottom left, the white one with the yellow circle. So a real simple icon here and Insta360. And so whenever you click on this app, now that I have a new device, I'm ready to click yes. And so it's a super simple setup here. It just wants to make sure you've got your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. And there's a few security settings that you have to enable on your phone so that the two devices can uh, connect to each other. So I went in and allowed that. And then it's going to take just a few seconds to try to discover the device. And then, of course, make sure your uh, camera is on so that your phone and camera can see each other successfully. And once it gets connected here, it will then do a firmware update. And I'm not real sure why mine ended up going through this firmware update twice. I think this first time it started and I did do the download, but it did not finish completely for some reason, just due to connection issues. So I'm just kind of fast forwarding through some of this a little bit. And then it's going to connect a second time. And then it actually uh, successfully finished the firmware update this second time. So as long as you have both devices on and your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi set the same on both devices, it actually connects really easily. So um, we have two different Wi-Fi settings in the house, so I always have to make sure that I'm on the correct one. So if things start taking a little bit too long, then I know I, I don't have my Wi-Fi right on the phone. But once I get all that fixed, then I'm usually set. And so these two devices do talk to each other pretty well. I have an older phone, and so far the app is working okay for me. I know there's a lot of editing features in the app that I haven't even explored yet. And so hopefully those will work for bare minimum editing. But other than that, my um, old Samsung Note uh, Android phone is working pretty well. Um, so yeah, there's really not a whole lot to show in here. I do get them successfully connected and paired and activated. And of course, each step of the way, you will have uh, things that you confirm on your phone and then also on the camera itself. And then you will be able to get into the full, all the tabs of the app. And I don't do a whole lot here my very first time. Uh, I am going to show you just real quick the settings tab and the about section. And then that's pretty much it. Um, so I just take a quick look through some of these settings. Lots of good information to come back and look at. And then the about screen, you can always double check, make sure you've got the latest firmware, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to make a connection to the camera itself. So then on my phone, I'll be I will be able to see what the camera sees. So here in just a second, that connection will click over and you will see my workroom. Yeah, so here is what the camera is seeing, but I'm looking at my phone app. And so it's pretty confusing. But, uh, but yeah, here's my workroom and then you may start seeing my face a little bit more. So I'm going to have to try to get used to that. <laughs> but anyway, this setup video was just uh, real short. Just wanted to show you that it it's uh, super easy to make the connection if your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a handful of permissions are set. And then just make sure you've got the latest firmware. And then you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. The next two videos will be just some more of my very first video. Thanks.